This is all my stuff. I don't even know where to start. Oh my gosh, something just fell on the ground. Hello, all you beautiful people of YouTube. As you can see by the title below, I have a beauty haul for you. This is kind of a collective haul, so everything I've kind of accumulated over the last month or so. I've done kind of a little bit, actually a lot of it, makeup shopping over this past month. I ordered from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I ordered from Namie's. I ordered from MAC Cosmetics. I went to Ulta. I went to Sephora, and I am just really excited on all my stuff. I haven't broke into any of it so because I wanted to show you guys it new I didn't want to just have it like used oh hey this is a product I have in my haul and I've used half of it so everything hasn't been used I'm pretty excited on all of this stuff and of course if you like the video and you like haul videos give the video a thumbs up that would mean a lot I've actually had a very hard week this week I've been dealing with a lot of stuff some unexpected events happened on Monday and it's kind of just been the biggest craziest headache of my life so I'm trying to feel better I'm trying to boost my spirits up and yeah so let's get into the haul I have a lot of things to show you I kind of went a little cray cray okay so the first place I'm going to show you is Namie's and if you are unfamiliar with Namie's, Namie's is like a beauty heaven. It's pretty much a beauty center. It's based in Los Angeles, California. They do have an online website and they do offer an industry pro discount which is a really nice discount. So um, I ordered online because I have not been to California anytime soon but if you saw my last haul, my LA haul, I went to Namie's and I bought quite a bit of stuff. I just, I love that place. I think it's great. They have Too Faced, they have MAC, they have Smash box they have Stila they have NARS they have tons and tons of brands and I feel like you can just find like anything a makeup lover or artist needs at Namie's the first thing I got was a dose of color lipstick and I love dose of colors I think it's an amazing brand and I picked up the shade play date and this is a pretty unusual color for me to choose because I'm usually into cool tone pinks or mauve kind of colors and this is more of a quarrely color so it is super super different for me but I really like it and I've seen a lot of girls wear it on Instagram and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. If you have this color let me know how you like it. I was debating between this one and the color soft touch which I think is a little bit lighter. So let's do a little swatch. Ooh. So I would say her lipsticks in comparison to like a MAC finish lipstick is probably an amplified because the pigmentation is really, really nice. It's not matte, but it's super pigmented. So yeah, that is the color Playdate. The next thing I picked up from Namie's is the Lorac Unzipped Palette. And I originally wanted the Lorac Unzipped Gold palette, which is the newer one, but for about a week or so I was debating between the two which one I should order, and I feel like I like the colors in the original better. I don't really wear golds on myself. I like more of these brown colors, so I'm, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, and comes with a little um, Lorac primer for your eyeshadow as well. So let's open this up. Ooh, so pretty. So the palette just looks like this. Seriously, so pretty. I feel like my favorite shade has to be this one, Unbridled. Oh, look at that. So that is the color Unbridled. That's probably my favorite. Look at that pigmentation. It's amazing. I feel like with this Lorac Unzip palette, you can create so many beautiful looks with it. And I feel like this palette is an amazing palette to have in your kit because it will be perfect for brides. There's just a lot of variety. The last thing I picked up at Namie's was the new Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. It is new to me. I know it is not very new now, but... I have the original and I really like it and I've heard mixed reviews on this one. I heard the pigmentation wasn't quite as good um, but then I've also heard that it's great so I wanted to see for myself. I personally loved the colors in this one. I think they are just beautiful neutrals and I think I will get a lot of use out of this. I feel like it's one of those palettes where you can just, if you're traveling, you can just take this one and you'll have everything you need for a pop of color, a neutral daytime look, a smoky eye, 
I think you can create a lot of different looks with this palette and it's so pretty. I feel like I just love all these browns. I know I probably have similar colors, but I just, I love it. And, oh, it smells so good. It smells like cocoa. It's made with um, real cocoa. Okay, so let's move on to MAC Cosmetics. Um, some people don't really like all the MAC products I use, and I'm so sorry for that. It's just really, really easy for me to use them because I have so much from working there. And also, I receive a really nice discount from MAC, so it just makes it really easy to shop with them. And I love their products. I'm very familiar with them, and I... I just, I've, I've always loved MAC. I'm from Toronto, which is where MAC is based, so I grew up with MAC stores all around me. So the first thing I picked up from MAC is a repurchase. This is MAC Strobe Cream. I absolutely love Strobe Cream. I apply it every day underneath my foundation, but before my primer, and it serves as a moisturizer, but it's not quite as hydrating for me to just use this alone. So I just add it kind of on the high points of my cheekbones. If you have seen my flawless foundation routine, you'll kind of see where I use this, and I love it. This is a constant repurchase. I will always use it because it is so awesome and so great. The next thing I got from MAC is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This, I don't really have much to say about it. I love it. It is amazing. And if you watch my videos, you know I love it. So I picked up two of those because I like to always have a backup of that. The next thing I picked up was a repurchase as well, which is MAC Golden Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer of all time. I it is so pretty and it is beautiful on more fair complexions like myself and also medium skin tones if you just want a really nice, just soft, subtle glow. I love matte golden bronzer. It blends out really nice and it's not orange and it's not muddy. I think it is great. The next thing is MAC brush cleanser. It's just a pink bottle of some liquid. Cleans the brushes super fast and super well. I really like it. I'm kind of getting out of the way all of my just like holy grail ride or dies repurchases. Another Studio Finish Concealer. This one I use for blemishes or just spots or discoloration, that kind of thing. I've even covered up tattoos with this on clients. I think it works great. It's a full coverage concealer and I love it. And another MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I use this as an eyeshadow base with all of my makeup looks. Another MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. That lip primer is great. You can use it with any brand and it works perfect because it still keeps that pigmentation and it also doesn't allow like lipsticks or lip pencils, anything like a little bit drier like matte formulas, sometimes they drag and tug at the lip. That will help prevent that and will still keep the color very intense. And then I picked up the shade Nylon. I have hit pan on my Nylon. Nylon is a very popular highlight color. I actually have it on my inner corners today. I picked up three lipsticks from MAC. Um, one of them I already have, which is Blankety. I love Blankety. It was in my Top Beauty Favorites of 2014. This is like my go-to nude color. Just looks like this. It's like a darker nude. The next color I picked up was the shade Modesty. I actually put this on deeper complexions all the time because it looks so beautiful, but then on more fair complexions like myself, it looks really pretty too. It's kind of like a deeper pinky nude. Do a little swatch. So pretty. The next one I picked up is the shade Pink Nouveau, and Pink Nouveau is a beautiful color too. It works with a lot of different skin tones as well. It is a really nice medium pink. So Pink Nouveau is right there. I think it's going to be really pretty for spring and summer. It's bright, but it's not too bright to where you're like, whoa, you know, what's this pink on my lips? So I think that one will be really pretty in the spring and summertime. Picked up the 266 brush from MAC. This brush is really nice for doing gel liner or your brows or even just lining your lower um, lash line with it. It's a great angled brush. It's very precise and thin. A lot of people use this guy. Okay, so Jeffree Star Cosmetics is available at jeffreestarcosmetics.com. I, I really like the color Prom Night. I was wearing it in my February favorites video, and I think these liquid lipsticks are amazing. They do not budge. Like, I'm telling you, they do not come off. I took a makeup wipe to it, wouldn't even move. 
I have to take like straight olive oil just to get it off my lips. But that's a great thing because if you have a long day ahead of you and you want to wear like a poppin' lip, this is a great one and you know it's not going to move, it's not going to transfer, pretty much just stays put. So I love these products, I think they're absolutely amazing. So I picked up the shade Queen Supreme and 714 when they launched I probably about two weeks ago now, maybe three. So 714 is this color. It's kind of similar to actually the Dose of Color Playdate. Let's do a swatch. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Look how pretty that is. I cannot wait to wear this. This is gonna be so pretty in the spring and summer. I've been really into these like pastel colors. I've, I always love pastel colors, but oh, as soon as I saw these, I needed them. And I wasn't originally going to get this one, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it because it is hyped and I need to break outside my pink comfort zone, my cool tone pinks, and do something a little bit more coral. They dry down as a matte and they are cruelty free and vegan as well. So with that whole lime crime scandal, personally I think it is BS and I will not be purchasing from lime crime again. All my past lime crime I've actually bought at Namie's so I was not hurt or affected by the whole scandal. I think it's absolute BS and I feel so sorry for everyone who's been affected by it. Um, I will obviously still use the products I do have but I will not be repurchasing them and if you really liked their liquid lipsticks these ones are even better so I would highly recommend these Jeffree Star ones and I believe he is restocking them soon. Next color I picked up is Queen Supreme and this is like I absolutely needed this color. I could not live without it. It is this beautiful lavender cool tone pink. As soon as I saw this, I even told my husband, I was like, this is me, you know it's me, I'm ordering these, don't be mad. <laughs> so now let's do some Ulta. So I love Ulta, I love going to Ulta. Ultas are everywhere in the United States. I first discovered it when I still lived in Canada, but I was visiting my husband here in the States when we were dating and I thought it was just an amazing place. They have drugstore and they have high end all under one roof. I was just really excited. So I love Ulta, I love going to Ulta. I go to Ulta all the time and just pick up things here and there. So the first thing I got were some makeup wipes. These are the Say Yes to Cucumber. Can I talk? These are the Say Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes. They are made with cucumbers and aloe vera, and they are 95% natural. These things take off your makeup amazingly, and they don't irritate your eyes, your skin. They're very gentle. They were actually buy one, get one free. Free? So I got two, and I have one in my bathroom right now, which I had to break open because I was out of wipes. thing I picked up were these lashes, and these are Eyelore Lashes. And I've never tried this brand before, but I've heard really good things. Um, the style is in 126. I think they're so pretty and these are gonna look gorgeous and maybe a prom look. We'll see. Next things I picked up are some lip products by NYX. I love NYX Cosmetics. I think they are a great brand and super inexpensive, really affordable, and really great products. So I picked up the new Intense Butter Glosses. I picked up four shades. I'm still on the hunt for a couple other ones. I think one is called Marshmallow or... Something like that. It's like a really pretty mauve color. It's kind of actually similar to what I'm wearing now. These are so pigmented. I do recommend using them with a lip liner because they can feather outside the lines. So a lip pencil, lining your lips and filling them in and doing this over top. Just to ensure you aren't bleeding everywhere. So that one is Trey Liché. I don't know how to say it. This one is Sorbet. This is actually similar in color to the Jeffree Star one. And these are super, super glossy and super, super pigmented. So that one is the shade Sorbet. And now we have Napoleon. Napoleon is a little bit more of a warmer pinky coral color. So that one is Napoleon. And Funnel Delight, which is a hot fuchsia pink color. Oh, these are just so pigmented, it's almost unbelievable that they are gloss. So that one is Funnel Delight. And then as some of you may know, Ulta does a 21 days of beauty where they have like half off items throughout the month every day it changes. And this was one of the things I really wanted. It is the Tarte Lights Camera 
Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara. This is a kind of rebuy for me, but when I saw that it was only $10, I had to pick up one. I probably should have picked up two, but what can you do? Next thing is a kind of random thing. I actually picked it up at Walgreens, but I wanted to include it in the video because it is a beauty product. So this one is by Kiss, and it is the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe, and it is in dark tone. So it's kind of like a black tone, so when you do your um, liquid liner or you have kind of like dramatic makeup like mine, you aren't going to see little white um, pieces peeking through. So this one says secure hold, formaldehyde free, dermatologist tested, and hypoallergenic. I was just really intrigued by it. It does still have latex in it, so if you have a latex allergy, I would not suggest this one. But I'm anxious to see how this works. If anyone has tried this, leave a comment down below because I am very, very intrigued by it and I want to kind of know how it wears, if it stays on, if it's as good as Duo, what's better, House of Lashes or this one. I kind of, I just want to know about it, you know? Sephora. Sephora is actually discontinuing Soap and Glory products, so I picked up a couple of those. They were 40% off. I picked up the Righteous Butter. This is just the little travel size one. Then I picked up the Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk. Could not be more excited to try it because Melts Away Makeup really drew, like, drew me in. I'm like, I need to try that because I've used the Cleanse Off Oils. I really like those, but this is kind of more of a milk one, so I'm curious to see if it purifies and clarifies, dissolves makeup, energizes, and soothes. And it's a huge, huge bottle. This is 500 mils or... 16.9 fluid ounces, so you get a lot of product. The next thing I picked up is Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I normally buy the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, but this one there was a duo for like 36 or $39 or something like that, so I, I mean, the deal is amazing. These are full size products. And this last thing that I picked up from Sephora is the Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color, and this I believe is like a liquid lipstick. I picked it up in the shade Fig Luster, and as soon as I saw this color, I really liked it, and I just, I felt like I needed it. Even though I don't need anything makeup, but you know. So it's this color, it's kind of like that Kylie Jenner color that everyone is obsessed with. So pretty, it's so pigmented. Okay, so that is everything from my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video, and of course, subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me after this brutal week that I have had, and like the video if you like hauls, because, I mean, who doesn't like hauls? I love seeing what other people got. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, of course, and I am going to be doing some tutorials for you over these next few weeks. I am planning on doing this one, which I posted on my Instagram, which is at Leslie Does Makeup. It's like this smoky mauve eye that I wore to work. I got so many compliments on it, and then also people were loving it and wanted to see a tutorial on here as well as Makeup Social. So I will be doing that very, very soon. I have my nighttime skincare coming. I also have some prom looks that I want to pump out for prom season. If you have anything you want to see, of course leave it down below. I love commenting back to you guys and seeing what you guys want to see because you're the ones watching. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.